Welcome, this is the first in a series of videos brought to you by Briefcase Essentials. This is part one of a five-part series on cash flow. My name is Susan Spencer. I have been a businesswoman for more than 20 years and have successfully navigated the challenging demands of managing cash flow in four different companies that I owned and operated. If you want to learn more about my business background, I invite you to visit my website at www.briefcaseessentials.com. I selected this complex subject called cash flow because for some reason it's never been talked about and yet it is the single most important issue that you will face in business. When I was 27 years old, my first business failed because I ran out of cash flow. I do not want that to happen to you. I will show you this image of a woman trying to catch random dollars, often during this series. To emphasize that managing cash flow is not about chasing after dollars. It's about having a cash flow plan for making your cash flow work for your current business conditions. Here's the good news. You will learn the techniques that I used which work. Cash flow is a skill that you can learn if you watch this entire series and then practice on your own. Planning by understanding the essentials and then putting them into practice is the only way you will get good at managing cash flow. You can do this, I promise. What is cash flow? In business, cash flow is the dollars that you bring into your business and the dollars that you spend on your business. The chart that is on the screen identifies the basic sources of cash flow that go into the business. Included in the chart are checks from sales made by your company, whether it's for goods or services, bank loans or lines of credit, which will be supplemental cash flow, and don't guess right now, we'll get back to loans later, cash savings that you or your family member loan to you during your business, and you will borrow money, it's just the fact of life. Now I've combined on the chart both the cash flow going into a business and some examples of cash flow going out of the business. Cash flow includes purchases of products or services, office overhead including payroll and anything else that you spend your money on to run your business, rent, miscellaneous expenses, and I always put a category called surprises because in business you always have surprises. By putting down on paper all of your cash flow expected to come in and costs expected to go out, you will understand what you have to cover. Look at the chart one more time and you will get a rough idea of what you need to put down on paper. Here is the most important takeaway from this introduction to cash flow. You must have a cash flow plan. And you need to manage that plan very carefully. Take one more look at the chart, and now you'll see a lot of action. Lots of arrows with money going out of the business, and a few with arrows going into the business. And that's where your challenge begins. I will walk you through this complex path every step of the way, so that after viewing all five videos, you will be able to fine tune your cash flow management plan and start putting that plan into action. Don't miss volume two of the Briefcase Essentials series. I will cover sales and how they are key to making the most of cash flow. To view this video and the rest of the series, I invite you to visit www.womenonbusiness.com as well as my website, www.briefcaseessentials.com. I sincerely hope that you will view the rest of this cash flow series. I know you will learn what you need to know, and that will put you on a positive path to achieving success in your business. Now is the time for women to get serious about owning their own businesses. Don't let this opportunity pass you by.